In this video, we present three properties of the projection on a convex set. Recall the theorem we proved in a previous video. If C is a finite dimensional closed non empty convex set, then for any point x, there is a unique point PC of x in C that minimizes the distance between x and a point of C. This projection has several very nice properties. First, it really is a projection in the sense that the projection of the projection of x is going to be the projection of x. This is pretty obvious when you think about it. If x is already in C, then of course the minimizer of the distance between x and a point of C is x itself. Thus, if x is in C, PC of x is equal to x. But PC of x is of course already in C, thus PC of PC of x is necessarily going to be equal to PC of x. Another nice property, which is definitely the fundamental property of this projection, is the fact that all the other points of C are on the same side of the hyperplane defined by the normal direction x minus PC of x. In algebraic terms, this corresponds to saying that x minus PC of x transpose PC of x is going to be greater or equal to x minus PC of x transpose y for all points y in the convex set C. This inequality is usually rewritten as x minus pc of x transpose y minus pc of x is at most zero. And in fact, pc of x is the only point in C with this property. This is easy to see on a figure. For any other point of the convex set, the hyperplane orthogonal to the line between the point and x and that goes through the point of the convex set necessarily cuts the convex set in two. A third nice property is that the function PC is non-expansive. In other words, if we move from X to Y, then the projections will move from PC of X to PC of Y. The non-expansive property asserts that the motion of the projections will necessarily be less than the motion of X to Y. Formally, this corresponds to the inequality PC of X minus PC of Y at most X minus Y. Finally, a fourth nice property is that the distance function d that measures the minimal distance between x and the point of c, d of x and c, is a convex function of x. This is again quite straightforward to see on a figure. The distance between the middle of a segment and the convex set is necessarily smaller than the average of the distances of the extremities of the segment to the convex set. And it is for all of such nice properties that convex sets and convex programming in general are very nice and easily solvable, as opposed to non-convex problems which are often intractable.